here is the secrets to everything going down in season four. And something big is returning. In season four's October crew pack loading screen, we get a glimpse of a new enemy coming to Fortnite. This, of course, is the season of the Herald. And how she's bringing back all kinds of evil creatures in this season. Ooh, and it all starts right there. No, not the giant floating orb. No, not the Herald that is behind the orb. But the giant pool of chrome liquid in the center. This season in season four, the Herald is going to be summoning evil creatures. We can first see this in the loading screen that we mentioned. Some kind of evil ghost-like chrome creatures can actually be found. Players have managed to connect them to being the same as the creepy ghosts from Fortnite's nightmares in 2021. You know when Midas returned to our game, those ghostly ghouls that arrived, well, they are actually returning, but this time as a chrome ghost. They seem to share the same shape, the same size, and even the same face, except the fact that they're made of chrome. The players were defeated during Fortnite's nightmares of 2021. They would become one of these ghostly ghouls, but it would seem it is Epic Games' intention to bring them back once again, but this time, the power of the Herald. Oh, we know this is actually true. The Herald has a power to use Chrome as a gateway to transport Fortnite's darkest evil villain. We saw this in the trailer. As she arrived using the Chrome. So how are these chromey, ghosty demons gonna arrive to our Fortnite game? Well, via the Chrome. You can even see in-game that the orb that she's using as some kind of spell comes from this chromey portal in the ground. It sinks down and it rises back up through this portal. It seems very likely and highly possible that this portal may actually be the key to the power of the Herald. And throughout this season, the portal that's going to bring all kinds of madness into our Fortnite map through this portal. We should expect to see it change. Maybe in color, maybe in size, or maybe we're gonna start to see things appear through the portal. This right here could be the key to season four's final event. Well, let's not jump ahead too quickly. Instead of looking at the end of season four's event, what about the upcoming Fortnite Mares event? All of the ghosts and the demons could be rushing out of this portal. Instead of falling from the sky like they did in Fortnite Mares in 2021, we the players could actually appear through through this portal. This is the gateway of the heralds and the spawn point for Fortnite Nightmares 2022. Are we really going to be getting another storyline related Fortnite Nightmares event in season four? Well, by the looks of it, yes. Chrome ghosts are coming in season four. And it's all thanks to the heralds portal. The first major change in season seven has just arrived and it'll be found here right at the logjam junction. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Chrome. Yes, the first official change and expansion of the Chrome has now been seen in our Fortnite game. And it's happening right here. This hole has just been discovered in Fortnite to be covered in Chrome. Epic Games has been updating locations underneath the ground to have this futuristic Chrome feel. This is because we know the Chrome is spreading in our Fortnite island. We also know that this won't be the only location to have Chrome. You see? Throughout Season 4, we will be having multiple updates that will slowly change the map. And we now know what changes are happening in every update. The theme of the season is Chrome and it's spreading across our island. And it would seem Epic Games is already hinting at the fact that this chrome is going to be flooding our season four Fortnite island. Multiple locations in the latest update have been lifted up off the ground, up into the sky, presumably in an attempt to try and save these locations from the incoming flood. That is the flood of chrome. Locations at Tilted Towers literally lifted up off the ground in preparations for this flood. What about here at Cloudy Condos? This is a location that has also been lifted up off the ground and is ready for the chrome. You may have actually missed this. A secret change Epic Games added, which is the blimp. Yes, you may not have realized during last season, the vibe-in season, they actually removed the imagined orders blimp. There was literally nothing here. But at the start of this brand new season of season four, Epic Games felt the need to re-add a floating location back into our game. Huh. Very strange. Every update throughout season four, we are going to be seeing this chrome spill out into brand new locations in our Fortnite game. And even in this early stage, we can make a guess of which locations are going to be hit first. You guys notice locations like Cloudy Condo have already started to see Chrome spilling out into the main location, but they are also much better prepared, being lifted off the ground, ready for the Chrome. Compare this to locations like Tilted Towers, which haven't fully been lifted up in the air yet. It would seem like Cloudy Condos is probably on the 
journalist first being infected. What about locations like Fort Jonesy? They've managed to lift this up off the ground. We can already see the chrome slowly spreading. And maybe we'll be there within the next handful of days. It would seem Fort Jonesy will be the next location to be affected. Tilted Towers, of course, is on the list. And maybe we'll be halfway through this season. And of course, there are a handful of other locations that are also already being lifted up into the sky. There is, of course, a secret logo. You guys know the one. No sweat insurance has made an appearance this season and seems to be responsible for lifting up all of these buildings. No sweat insurance has been used before in Fortnite. Every time a massive destructive event happens, no sweat insurance is there to try and protect some of the locations. We saw this during the flooded season. But no sweat insurance would raise buildings up out of the water using balloons, keeping them afloat undamaged during the flood. No sweat insurance has been around for a while. And it would seem like they're helping out once again. It's probably safe to say that over the course of the next week, the whole eastern side of our Fortnite islands will be covered with crow. Say goodbye to our season 4 Fortnite islands. We are heading back to a flooded theme. This time, it's crow. In the season 4 trailer, Paradigm goes through the zero point, saying there has to be a way to fix this. And it would seem we've just figured out how she plans to stop the spread of the chrome. <gasps> and the answer is Midas. Speculation online has led players to believe that the Paradigm is going in search of Midas. In the trailer, it is confirmed that she's entering Reality 659. We don't know what Reality 659 will hold, but we can presume this is a reality that she is deliberately pursuing to find the answers to stop it the chrome. Players online have already drawn connections with the spreading of this chrome metal goo liquid with the powers that Midas actually had. Midas, of course, was made of gold and everything he touched would turn to gold. A similar glowing effect would be seen as a bright metal material would cover any object it came into contact with. Seems pretty similar to the situation we've got with chrome. It would seem if there was anybody in our Fortnite universe that knew how to control, out of control, spreading dangerous materials, it might very well be Midas. We already know there are leaked outfits for Midas coming in season four. We already know about Meowsels, Midas' psychic, with a bunch of secret dialogue suggesting he's returning. As well as all the other Midas Easter eggs that are in our game right now, which seem more possible than ever. The paradigm is in search of Midas in another reality. He has not been slain by a shark. There's actually already a ton of Midas outfits in our Fortnite game right now, which leads us to believe that Midas, the character, has been copied multiple times. He's been made into multiple different snaps. Snapshots, presumably from multiple different dimensions. As the paradigm is heading into reality 659, which just seems to be another alternative reality to the one that the Fortnite Island is already in. And the fact that the paradigm said there has to be a way to fix this. It would seem like paradigm is searching for an answer to stopping this chrome from spreading. And this is the only guy who can do it. The theory that Midas is returning in season four seems to be stronger than ever. So is Midas really returning to season four? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. This is one crazy theory in season four. I'm gonna create a code on screen right now, guys, if you want to support the channel. Let me know if there's any other cool theories to do with season four that we really need to talk about. Let me know. Another season four video on screen right now. You should check it out, guys. I'm gonna catch you all in the next crazy season four Fortnite video. Thanks a bunch, guys. Peace.